into the thick of it. I was watching my old curly hair routine. Don't watch that one. What's up, y'all? It's Monica, and I'm back with another video. For today's video, if you haven't seen the title, it's the curly hair routine updated. I'm gonna be showing you my new routine, how I achieve this hairstyle every day. I'm gonna be taking you through my routine. Two products, two products is all I use. That's it for styling is I use two products and three brushes. I hope you enjoy this. Oh, I forgot to include my shampoo and conditioner. Be right back. So in this video, I show you the products that I use, but I did forget to include my shampoo and conditioner. So let me just show you really quick. I use Shea Moisture, this Curl and Shine shampoo. I just bought a new one, so that's why that's full. And then this is the Curl and Shine conditioner, also by Shea Moisture. And I got these ones specifically because it says that there's protein in them and my hair definitely needs protein. That's a whole other thing that I don't really understand. There's like porosity, protein, moisture. Anyways, I'm not gonna get into that because I don't really know anything about it. But I was watching my old curly hair routine and I don't know, I don't like how my hair looks back then. Right now I like it way more. It's way softer, neater. Don't watch that one. Here's the updated version. Let's just get right into it. So this is my hair right out of the shower. When I'm done taking a shower, I put it in a bun just so that it's not dripping everywhere. But first things first, we have to detangle. This is the detangling brush that I use. It's by Conair. It just looks like this. Simple. But to detangle, I use this OGX coconut milk conditioner. So let me take my hair out. And I use these little scrunchy thingies. Okay, and then I just put like this much on, just through like this. And then also I always keep like a shirt or a towel to wipe my hands off since there's a bunch of product on my hands, so that helps. Okay, and then I just separate into two and untangle starting from the bottom to not rip all your hair out. Okay, when both sides are untangled, then I just brush it all straight back so that there's no part. Just like that. And then this next step, I flip my head over in the sink and re-wet my hair just to unstick this part that's like flat on my head because my hair, if I left it like this, it would just dry flat on my head. So I flip my head over in the sink and I shake my hair up. So I'll be right back. Okay, now my hair is dripping. So I take a soft shirt and scrunch it a little bit just to get some excess water out. Now's when we start the actual product brushing routine. I put more of this in now to leave into my hair. So, we take quarter size, like this. Start at the bottom, put it like that, and then put a little bit in the top. Kind of just put it everywhere. I go until I feel like my hair is really soft. After that, it's time for the second product, and that is Shea Moisture Mousse. I found this because I was just in Target and I was like, oh, I kind of want to try some new hair products. And I've had my other routine for a year or something like that. But I really thought that I was set on that last routine. And then I tried this and it changed my life. I used to not be a mousse person, huh? but it makes my hair super soft and I could put a lot in it and it doesn't get crunchy or like um, when you put too much product, your hair feels like, I don't know, like, I don't know the word to describe it, but it does not feel like that. It feels really soft and nice. So what I do with this is part my hair down the middle and then I'll part it again like this. 
twist and put it over here so I can get this section. You have to shake it and then I do like three or four pumps. Okay, and then using prayer hands, going like this and then scrunch. You can't be afraid to use a lot of product because especially with mousse, you can use a lot and it's still not too much. I'm gonna tie this up just so it doesn't get in the way. Okay, and so now this top piece, I'm gonna do the same thing, like four pumps. And then I'm just gonna scrunch it in. Make sure it gets everywhere. A little ASMR. time to brush the Denman brush I love this thing that's what it looks like so it came with eight rows but I took some out because eight was like too much and it was just brushing through so now it has four five <laughs> that's five rows what we do with this I'm gonna part my hair you can really part it however you want but I like to take some of the front and bring it to the left and then part it down the middle. This side gets tied back like that. And then I'm gonna part this side like this. And then I'm just gonna take this and put it over here. <laughs> okay, so there are a bunch of different techniques to using this brush, but my favorite is just like this. So first you just brush the piece of hair out and then you face it outwards, turn and take it down like that. And this is the secret. You see how there's that much product in it that it's white? That's the mousse. And that's how you know that there's enough product in your hair is if it's if you can see it when you brush it. So I'm just gonna keep doing that in sections all around my head. Okay, so all the back parts are done and brushed through and all that's left is this middle slash front piece and I'm going to show you how I do it because I do it a little bit differently. Okay, so it's all brushed and then you can kind of manipulate the Denman brush in your hair to curl in different ways. So I'm going to get closer for this one, go like this and then put the brush like that and I put my hand on it so it's like flat. And then here you get these like ribbony, spirally curls. So all my hair is brushed out. And then the last, <laughs> the last thing I do before I dry it is take this one more time, not as much as before, like this. Rub it in my hands and then scrunch. Now we dry it and this is the blow dryer that I use. It's, the name is kind of rubbed off, but this is what it looks like. And then this is my diffuser attachment, which I got from a random beauty supply store, but this is what it looks like. It's big. And then it fits on any blow dryer because it's silicone. So I just put it on like that. And then I use high heat and then the highest power because before, when I first ever used a diffuser attachment, I thought that you had to use cold air and I was sitting there trying to dry my hair for like an hour and it was still wet. So high heat, high power, yes, let's dry. This is what it looks like as soon as I'm done drying it. And as you can see, a lot of the curls are clumped together. 
So the next step is to pull them apart and have more volume. When that's like that, you just pull it apart. The ones in the back, I kind of just rake because they're in the back, so it doesn't really matter. But this process is definitely long. You have to be patient. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm done unclumping. Then I'll just go through and like shake it out and then get my part going. I think this is where I put it. So this is what it looks like after drying and then unclumping it. But we're not done yet. This side's not really dry, but it's okay. What I do is go back in with just one pump of this, that little, rub it, and then put it in like this because it makes your hair last all day. And if it's humid outside, you can just put some more if you need. If it's humid outside, it'll stay longer and not get all fuzzy. Because y'all know, humid weather does not agree with curly hair at all. My last and final step, because my hair looks a little bit flat, I take this pick that I got on Amazon. It's like this. And I'll just go in and pick it out. So this is a finished product. This is what we're left with. And that is my curly hair routine from start to finish. Two products, three brushes, if you include the detangler, the denim brush, and the pick. And this lasts me the whole entire day, even a few days if you know how to sleep with it, but super easy. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment if you have any questions or comments, concerns, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.